So guys, this is the app of printer and then this is the manual of how to use the printer. So first you have to download the application from this website and then set it up in your computer. So before you print, you have to plug in this into your computer with the printer. So first you have to have your software installed and then you have to open a software called UP Studio, App Studio. Yeah. When you have the software open and then you just go to app. So this is the platform that you have to print. Then you can simply track the file that you have as an STL file. So I have it. here moment please I have it here okay, so I will track this in and here it's come up so before you have the file print you have to make sure that your file is STL and then the object is solid like there's no uh, hole inside it and then you also need to make sure that the thickness of your object is at least one millimeters and there's no scale in here if you do the scaling you have to do it first in your software like the 3ds mac or rhino yeah so when it show up like the red surface it means that your surface has a problem so there's a fix button in here so you go to more and fix arrows yeah and then just try to s with initialize the printing so you will hear the this is the sound of the beeping ping of the machines. Yeah, so you have to wait until it's ready. Once again, you have to make sure that your, your model is in the printable area. So the place here is printable area. I think it's around 20 centimeters. Yeah, so the printer is ready. So you have to calibrate it sometime. Like you have to make sure that the head of the machine hitting the surface in order to print. But since the machine is already calibrated, so I'll just confirm and then click on print. And then here are the options that you can choose from. You can also like without print without support, but since this is organic so it has to be with support and here is the print in field like the inside of your model so if you want to make it strong you can choose like 20 or even 65 so I'll just choose 20 and then click on print yeah so there's still something wrong with my models like it's a little bit red somewhere here which shows some of the problem but it's fine I think it can be printed out so here you can see like the sending time no sorry the sending percentage of uh, the software which send the model into the machine so and here's the temperature of the nozzle which is the head technically it's called nozzle and also the temperature inside the machine yep so i think it's ready so these are the material types and the printing hour is one hour 42 minutes 38 seconds yeah so you have to wait until the machine is starting It takes a bit time. 
Here, one more thing. If your model has a problem, you should do an online fixing of the STL files, which is free. So you can load inside the website NetFab, I think. Yeah, go there and then upload the model that you are ready to print to fix some area before printing out. Yeah, so if you look at this here, the nozzle has to be heated up in order to print. And then after it's ready to print, the temperature will drop down. So now the temperature is dropping down to 98% and the beeping point sh shows that mas the machine is starting. So this is when the machine starts. You can see like it starts building something from the base. Okay, guys, so this is the 3D printing process. You can see like the phases being printed by the 3D printing, and then we start getting up the phases of the model.